Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today I finally finished um, doing the master bathroom makeover. So this is the second part and it is already super late at night and I finally got it done. There was a lot of hiccups along the way to finish this bathroom. Um, so it wasn't as quick as I thought it would be and it's just it's a really small bathroom, but it was a lot of work. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you're new to my channel, I make videos on um, makeovers, organizing, cleaning, motherhood, lifestyle, things like that. My channel is at a starting point. So a lot of the videos are of those categories are not on my channel yet, but I have a lot of video topics and ideas to put on my channel. Please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you're notified each time I upload a video. I would really like to start a family base here on my channel and it would just help me and support me and encourage me to continue making more video. And on to the video. So first of all, I'm starting with vacuuming the floors just to make sure I don't get any um, of the dust or any specks on here because I do plan to second coat seal the floors, which I did off camera. And now I am painting the base of the cabinets here with the same color as the top portion that you see now. So here's the cabinets. I did add some polyacrylic to the cabinets as well to minimize the chipping on this cabinet. Here are a couple things that I got for the bathroom makeovers. Now because I am doing Two bathrooms I'm doing the master which I am filming now and then later I'm going to start with the guest bathroom so I went ahead and shopped for both bathrooms at uh, the same time or at least try to get some of those things out of the way so I have this frames I bought these at Hobby Lobby for 50% off each um, and I got these two and originally both of those were supposed to be for the guests but later on you'll see where I changed my mind and I got these bronze um, hooks and then these black ones for the guest and then I grabbed this at Hobby Lobby at 50% off the original price is $4.99 and it's actually a kitchen um, type of rag but I decided to use it as a decorative piece and I went to five and below and got these shelves for the guest bathroom for five dollars which was amazing um, I got this hamper at Target and the trash bin I got it at Walmart and the two soap dispensers I got them at Walmart one's black and one's bronze and then I got some floral pieces at um, Dollar Tree and the vase as well and some eucalyptus plants from Hobby Lobby So if you remember in part one there um, I don't know if you studied it or not But our toilet seat had like a burn mark which looked like a yellow Part on the seat and it was gross to look at and we just never changed it and um, it was already there when we purchased the house so I don't know what they did to it that made it yellow but we went ahead and bought this one for $29.99 at Home Depot and it's supposed to be a soft clothes which I love and it matches better than the previous one that was originally there so my husband here is just installing that for me So I saw a girl on YouTube doing a makeover on her bathroom and she used some painter's tape and added some marks so she knew where to add the nails. Um, and it worked great, however, on my particular frame, the one of the hinges was a little bit higher than the other side. So I had to 
um, take the nail off of one side and nail it a little higher so that way it would be straight. So when I said that this bathroom had a lot of hiccups, I was not lying. So almost every turn of every single decorative piece gave me some type of grief. So here I am trying to nail or screw in, I'm sorry, the um, bathroom shelf. This actually I got it from my guest bathroom. So I'm going to change the shelving in there. So I added this one to be in our bathroom and the nails would not go in. There was something in between the walls that would not allow the screw to go through. So I was kind of getting worried because I didn't know how this shelf was going to be up there if I couldn't have it, you know, right on top of the toilet because then it would be off visually. So finally I decided to unscrew the brackets at the bottom and put them wider on the wood shelf and then that way hopefully it would um, escape the area where it wasn't letting me drill in and voila it worked I was able to drill them onto the wall I'm grabbing those flowers from Dollar Tree and putting them into that clear Dollar Tree vase and just arranging those flowers to look pretty and I do have this little cake stand, mini cake stand from the Target Dollar Spot. However, I changed my mind, did not like that look and took it off, but maybe this is an option or idea that you can use. So I have this little turtle plant that I grabbed from the guest bathroom and switched it onto here. And I have this succulent um, artificial plant thing and these were used in our wedding and so I thought I'd repurpose it and i already had this little glass jar on hand i think i grabbed that at walmart a while ago and i decided to put that in there because of the foam piece in there and then added one of the eucalyptus plant that i got from hobby lobby and added it on there so it wouldn't be moving around and it stayed in one spot
So this is the shower curtain rod that I got from Target and it's starting off at a 46 inch and it could extend to 78 inches. However, I thought this would be a standard size for my shower to fit in and it gave me so many issues and I just, the day that I was doing this, um, it was already late so I couldn't go out to Target that day. So it was just a mess. And I had so many issues finding an uh, oil bronze or any brown type of color that would fit into this shower. I measured it against the one that was already on there and it seemed to be the, around the same size but it's actually less and so it's probably around more to 40 inches. So I, it was very hard because the ones at Walmart and Target started at 43 inches. So ultimately I just decided to stay with the old one that was on there. So another hiccup on this makeover is that the light fixture already came with cups to cover the light bulbs. However, when we took down the old light fixture, I put it in the box, not taking out the cups that go with the new light fixture, and I donated all that to Goodwill. So by the time I realized what I did, it was too late and had to go to Home Depot to purchase these frosted glass ones, which I love way better than the ones that I came with, by the way. And here I attempted to go and search for another curtain rod and so when I returned the Target one, I went to Ross and checked out their selection which was not very much um, to choose from. So I saw this one and it was kind of a bronzy color and um, it said it was 43 inches so I said this must, you know, work and it didn't so it still didn't work so I called reinforcements and my husband was like yeah this is not working so this is where I just decided you know what I'm just gonna stick with the old one and then worry about it later because I did not want to waste more time on a curtain rod <laughs> so these are some drawer pulls that I had purchased like five years ago at Marshall's for $5.99 I believe and I just had them there and I remembered about them and so I decided to go ahead and add those on there. And here I am adding some hooks that I bought at Hobby Lobby for 50% off as well. So a good thing to do is to always check what's going to be 50% off before you go to Hobby Lobby or otherwise you feel like you wanna buy everything. But I added these two so that way when we finish taking a shower we can hang our towels on there and have it look cute. So most of the baskets here for the linen area are from the guest bathroom which i'm going to remove that whole um, set that i have in the other bathroom so i decided to keep the baskets and put them in my linen area and i'm going to put towels in there and then here i'm putting the hamper what i like about this hamper is that i can remove this sack that's covering the inside of the hamper and I can wash it if it gets stained on or sweat marks or stuff like that from any of the residue of the clothes that would go in here so I love that feature. So here are some before pictures. These are pictures not from what we had before in our bathroom. This are the pictures from the listing when we first purchased the house. But the bathroom looked exactly the same. We did not really change anything. Um, to this bathroom till now.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this bathroom makeover and I hope it gave you some inspiration, motivation, or some type of ideas for your next project in your home. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.